And this is for flushing the, these lines here uh, when you actually inject them into your arm. So the rest of that I'll fill up with saline, which I'll get from one of these bags. I've got a special port here in the saline bags that you can put a needle in. And just suck out some saline. Okay, now I've got 10 and they're mixed together. Take that needle off. Put it in the needle bin. Okay, now that's ready, we'll just put that down there. Now because I'm a big chicken and I don't like sticking needles in my arm and feeling the pain of those big suckers going in, I'd like to give myself a local, which everybody does here in New South Wales. So what we'll do is get some of this into a small needle. It's a two and a half mil syringe with a 25 gauge needle, which is a very fine needle, which you can still feel when you put it into your skin, but it's not too bad. The worst is it stings a little bit when you put the uh, local anesthetic in. What I'm doing is just getting the air out of it. I've got a couple of squirts. So that's ready to go now. So these, these are all being prepared so that when the machine is primed after its test, I'll give it a prime, prime the rest of it, put the saline. The saline will run through the kidney, get all the air out of the kidney, and then through the, um, uh, this valve here. And virtually get all the air out of the rest of the system so that the whole priming lines are full of saline and then they'll be ready for me to come back to this table and at that stage I'll put the needles in and then I connect all the tubing up to my needles and then we can start taking the blood from my system and set that. So the whole the whole thing takes a while, um, roughly about from start to when I finish, will take roughly about three quarters of an hour um, before I can just get onto the machine and then I'll be on the machine for five hours. Now while I'm waiting for this I can also weigh myself because you need to know your weight so that you can put your fluid levels in. So I'll do that, I'll have a special set of scales over here. Yeah, the scale says I'm 76.4. My dry weight is uh, 75. So I have to take 1.4 litres off. And because I have a few drinks while I'm on the machine, uh, and plus what you use to wash your blood back, uh, you have to add, add, add a litre. So all up it'll be 2.4. I'll dial in the test. Okay, the test is, uh, says test is passed now. Um, the priming light will come up on the machine. And so now it can tell me I can prime the machine up. So what you do is push the prime button. And the saline starts flowing through. And you've got a little valve here you have to open. Um, and just to allow the air the, um, the detector of air bubbles to fill up. When it gets to a certain point, you just close it off. There's a clip on here that you can seal it. Now what's happening is the saline's going from the bag up here. The pump is taking it round through the tubes, through the air bubble detector. Now it's going from the air bubble detector, it's filling up through the kidney. And soon it will come out the top here. Inside the kidney is like thousands and thousands of little straws. And uh, the saline's flowing up through all those little straws. Now it's just coming out. It'll go into this detector here, and as soon as it detects the saline, uh, detects the saline, it will 
turned it off. Okay, now it's seeing it. Let's turn the machine up. But I have to fill it up just a little bit more, so you push the button on the right to fill it up a bit more. Okay, now turn the alarm off. Now we have to connect the water to the kidney, so we have to turn the kidney upside down. Part of the procedure. So I'm going to close this and that'll start filling up with water now as well. Now, this water washes through all those straws inside there that the blood flows through, has tiny little holes around the edges. Now, those holes are uh, too small for the blood cells to flow through, but this water uh, cleaning wash can go through all those little holes washes around your blood cells, washes away your urine, uh, your urea and all your all of the bad stuff that's in your blood, that's built up in your blood, and uh, washes it through, but your blood keeps going in one direction, so that's how come you don't lose any of your blood, uh, only it gets clean by going through a little washing machine. Now that's filled up. Check because your heart to enlarge and you do get serious problems. 